Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance 3 Kingdoms 10. I'm the Mysterious JG, and we are trying to... He wants to destroy the defenses of Han Zhong. I'll accept, I guess. I don't have much else I want you to do right now. Expand the market. Excellent idea. You want Chow's taking it from both sides right now. Yay, Lady Jingtai inspected stuff. Everything is going great except for all the failed disruption tactics. He's got 19 units, but they've only got a strength of like 70k because he's been attacking me so much. Bobo's got more strength in Wudu than he's got there. Wow. Yeah, Tian Shui's kind of in bad shape. But, um... Certainly they would get a lot of reinforcements if we attacked them. And they've got more troops in most of their cities than I've gotten in most of mine. Maybe I'll just start inspecting all of his places so that I can get a... a decent idea of what's actually going on in his overall force. That would put me in a much better position to decide whether I should do a campaign. Yuan Shao's troop is... Okay, so they just took Yi back immediately. They need to get Ye back from Cao Cao. Tech is as good as it's ever going to get. Ching Tsai is back, and so is Lu Ling Qi. So either one of them could expand the city. I've been favoring Lu Ling Qi. If I get one of them up to class 2, they will be able to um, help me out as far as uh, I could potentially set up another district. I don't know if I have the authority to do that, but... or why I would necessarily want to. Ziggy dude, woo! No one but Jinx is available for this task. Understood. I know I'm not your first choice, but... Autumn. Ah, they discovered my frickin' spy. Which means that one of the cities that I thought I already had uh, a good handle on and didn't need to go inspect will now need to be inspected again. Unless that was one of the cities that sounds house I'd inspected. Yeah, f farm is an... Yay, successful. Yay! This should mean that this okay, this Hanjong I still can see. Nobody's running the store over here. We got forty thousand troops, and they'll definitely get reinforced if we attack them. They've only got forty thousand. Oh, Wu Dude, I I don't have a spy in anymore. We've got trusted relations with Liu Qi. So let's get Guan Ping to go demand their surrender. Yay, we now have a big city. Wood Oxen can now be built! 
You hear that, Grimoth? You are doomed. Guan Ping's negotiation on Liu Qi's army. Ah, as a result of Guan Ping's negotiation, Liu Qi's army has become dependent on our forces. Great, we now have a satellite state. Lord Zhou Yu, a letter has arrived from Lord Sun Tzu. You are making good progress to your goal. I'm looking forward to the success of your solicitation efforts. He wants us to get more forces to surrender. So there you go, folks. We killed Liu Biao, and then we forced his son to become a dependent force. So I'd say that, you know, you could argue that we didn't do enough. We should have killed Liu Qi, wiped out the entire clan. Or at least that branch. You can't kill all the Liu's. The Chinese have a saying that if you have the same surname, then a thousand generations ago you were brothers. Because clearly, it's like in, a, in America, everybody who's named Smith isn't directly related. Or if they are, it's way back. So we can't kill. So we wouldn't be obligated to kill Liu Bei, but clearly some would say I should have killed Liu Qi as the son of Liu Biao, who is responsible for the death of Sun Jin. But I'm going to say that by forcing them to meekly submit to Wu, that we've done enough, since we did kill Liu Biao himself. And if you disagree with me, uh, you know, comment and tell me so, but um, there's really not a whole lot uh, that I'm going to do about your, uh, your problem with me. So now we've got an ally here. So that's pretty cool. That's going to be one less group that's trying to attack us. And uh, if these cities continue to build themselves back up. This is Taonin City, isn't it? Yeah, he's worked on. He's got defense built up nicely. Good job there, Taonin. That's exactly what we need to see. Um, how about you guys? How are you doing here? You're not really building up that fast at all, Top Hat Raptor. You seem to be maybe recruiting troops instead of uh, building your defense. Which would make sense, but doesn't seem to work that great in this game. Now, can we see the troop counts in all of his cities yet? No, we're still waiting for a couple of... Uh, who have I still got to give orders to? Lu Ling Ki. And start agitating some of these cities. Well, Lu Ling is not really cut out for subterfuge. However, all of these units can now have wood oxen built for them, which will mean that they can carry more food. Mistress Lu Ling I order you to manufacture a wood ox. All right, I've been waiting years to do that. Huang Yue Ying is, of course, in our force. Sadly, she is not here to personally oversee the construction of wood oxen. Now, if we continue to build up our tech, then we'll be able to build juggernauts. But now that I think about it, I don't care about that, so that was probably a waste of a day. Hey, Jing Tsai has a proposal. She wants to agitate public opinion in Xuan Shui, and I say that's a good idea. Even though I probably would have had her inspect somewhere instead. And her order's gone down the crapper, too. Oh, somebody else is here. Guan Ping was able to solicit the surrender of a force. That's pretty damn good. What about inspecting? Are there any cities up here that we can inspect? Wudu, obviously. Find out what Bobo Vulture Bobo is up to. No food for you. I wonder why order is crap in my cities. Letting the people starve to death. At least that one person. Yay! Oh, somebody was already inspecting what we do. Oops. Oh man, Han Jong now needs to be inspected again. There's no end to it, folks. And now I can become the doctor. I hope I'll be Patrick Troughton. Or maybe Tom Baker. Okay. No, not not go not build, my mistake. I meant uh weapon. 
get some more wood oxen going. Lulinqui, build wood oxen. I need to actually select them, of course, but wood ox! And I still do need to upgrade, uh... I do need to build up tech, though, because I need to, uh... Oh, here we go. This might work. I do need to increase tech because I need to, um... Be able to build, uh, catapults. Catapults would allow me to, um attack, uh, it would be great for city battles, because you can attack the government facility building without even getting that close to it, and generally the AI is not smart enough to come out and attack your caterpillars. I'm confident in my Oh, I'm confident in my skills! I will truly be of use to you! Will you please have me into your army? Oh, will you hire the ultimate warrior? Yes. What is this troop doing? Hmm. I know I shouldn't be using save states, but I want to save my game here. And then, uh... Go out there and have a little chat with these guys. Oh, they're attacking the gate. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they're attacking Angpin gate. Alright, I don't really care about that. I can let that go. I probably should do something about it, but... Meanwhile, let's reward all a bunch of officers. Oh, these are in all different cities. Okay, so once a month I can reward anybody in my force whose loyalty is slipping. Thanks for your undue kindness. Yeah. That's alright, I'm a good guy. I do a search of some place. See if she can find anybody cool around here to hire. I probably should have found a better use for her, but okay. This is the great thing about being a prefect, is, um, I got all this gold to spend. Yeah, oh, they failed to attack, to take the gate. Ha <laughs> ha. You suck. She found gold. Well, that's not really what I wanted to decide, but okay. Ah, we built some weapons. Let's, uh, take that gate that they just, uh, probably softened up for us some. Yeah. Let's take advantage of their misfortune. Now, unless I'm willing to trot out and defend it periodically, they're going to take it back, but... Meanwhile, G keeps going back and forth. This should be an easy victory. I don't know who they're taking it from, but clearly they wore down the defenses and then had to stop. So that'll tick them off a little bit. I don't know how you go about rebuilding that thing. I don't think you really can, but... Now, check again if there's anyone to hire. Now I want to check and see. Have we inspected every city of Grimmiths? Apparently not, because we can't see what his troop strength is. So what city of his haven't we inspected? We got Hanjong. We got Chang'an, which has lots of really weak units in it, apparently. On Ding. Wu Du has got a huge population of badass warriors. Only five officers, though. Tian Shui. Oh, Tian Shui. Inspection wore off. Luling Kui has the spy ability, so let's try her out. In the meantime... More weapons can be built. Everybody gets a wood ox. You get a wood ox. You get a wood ox. You get a wood ox. Everybody gets a wood ox. No, not a ram. I hope I didn't accidentally get Jinx to build a ram. Damn it. Stop doing that, JG. 
no, not that unit. Here. And we want you to build a wood ox. Because I want to go out marching for months and months and months without returning to base for some bizarre reason. Shut up. Shut up. I'm trying to run a freaking empire here. Basically on my own, since uh, Sunsu since seems to be worthless. So what I'm going to do is build the most technologically advanced city with no freaking farming or commerce. Uh, and they're continuing to eat away at Yuan Chao. Oh, Yuan Chao screwed. Cao Cao has become Prime Minister. Oh, it's time to hold assembly. Nobody's here, of course. Lu Ling Kui, you rock. Currently, Liu Qi's army is relying on us because of our vigor and strength. Let's give everything we have for Sun Tzu. Defense is no longer top priority. We have to capture Jing Bei. Yeah. Sorry, Yuan Chao. We were not able to save you. Again, I should be moving with aggressiveness to take out Grimoth, but I just can't help but uh, build up cities. I love it! And now they can build catapults. That's kind of what I was waiting for, actually. Alright, well, let's see if we can make the same old suggestion to Sun Tzu, and if he'll listen this time. Now that we have peace with Cao Cao, he might care about the suggestion better. No, he doesn't. What's our relationship with Cao Cao like? It's still trusted. I don't think it's going to get any higher than that. Okay. Uh, we've got how many units here? Six. This place has three units with the strength of 20,000. Somebody over here. I thought it was Da Kiao City. Oh, Da Kiao City isn't in, isn't in my district, so I can't... Uh... Well, I'll never have to build another horse unit. sure they've got enough food to keep them going for a while. That's why you guys are there, man. Build stuff for me to take from you for the front lines. I'm sorry, but that's how it's going to work. Is that as many as I can have? No, I'm a large city. I should have, be able to have 15. Because I want to build weapons for all of them and then go on a hellacious attack. Everyone's building... Ah, here we go. You guys are after my own heart.
really need to get going on food capacity, of course. Ling Ling is a pretty impressive city. Of course, I was running it myself for a while. Wait, did he just say my lady gold food and military units have arrived from Ling Ling? <laughs> Are you calling Zhou Yu my lady? <laughs> it's pretty cheeky. Alright. So let's uh, recruit for these little units. Nothing. Zuoc. I got mad at the Grim Grams. Shut the fuck up. Okay. We got bow units without towers, and I want to put a stop to that. Now catapults are freaking expensive. But I got a lot of gold, and I want to build them. Well... I'll increase orders to get 10 days to pass. Yeah, Yuan Shao is on his last legs. I don't care about Zuo C. He teaches... Whoa! Accidentally cranked my head set volume up real loud. He teaches skills, like debate skills, that I don't really care about, so... I can kind of let that go. Now, how is my city doing now for food and stuff? Because I don't have very good farm. Yeah, we're actually going to be running through our f our food slowly but surely. But uh, you know, got to do what you got to do. Get you guys working on some towers for the bow units, mostly because I already think of them as ranged units, so it's just easier for me to remember to use their towers if they've got them. You can also, you can build towers for anything, including the horse units, but for defensive battles, horse units are not going to be able to get up on the wall, which is the best place to have your towers, so I'll probably get around to building towers for everybody eventually. But it's kind of the lowest priority to get them to the, uh, the horse units. And, of course, the towers are nothing special on offense. I'll need catapults for that, but I'll get around to that later. I want to get wood oxen for everyone, towers for everyone who can go on a wall. That way I can defend any city. And um, the wood oxen are basically more for attack than anything else. But uh, and I'll get catapults going for several of the units. Probably don't need it for everything. Oh, I'll finance it. Why not? That's why not. Oh, I hate you guys so much. Now, if I get to expand to a very large city, I can build... I can have 20 units instead of 15. And uh, also, I'll be able to get... Um, I have a foot garrison, which, together with... Uh, the foundry means I'll be able to build the most advanced foot units in, in the game. But I don't like foot units that much, so... Feng Jair's troop of Shigrimus armies advancing towards our Yangping gate. There are 80,000 of them. I wonder if I can get there in time to help. 
I'm a little... Yeah, see, now I don't really remember how gate battles even work. So it's tempting to go out there and, and try to save it, but... In a way, I don't care. But it would be a good chance to kill some more of their troops. We can do this without their help. We've got more troops if we get there in time. So, let's see how a gate battle actually works in this game. I haven't seen one of these in a really long time. Years. I haven't seen this since I actually played this on the PS2. Oh, I don't know where they are, which is going to make this difficult. So I guess they have to destroy this thing, which means that what we really need to do is get up on top of this mountain and start shooting at them. So how do they get through here? Can they come through there? Can I shoot through the, uh, the gate with my uh, bows and arrows? I'm not really sure, folks. I'm really not that sure. Or should I be sending some guys around the other way to attack? Yeah, I can't get through there. That That's set up specifically so I shouldn't be able to get through. My only question is, do I lose the battle if the gate is destroyed, and but my troops are fine? See if I can set up a tower there and whether or not I can shoot at anyone. Ah, excellent. Now we're playing with fire, as they say. This is what you get for not joining us like the rest of your family, Maju! I would dearly love to be able to get up here. But this may have to be good enough. I'll come up next to you, Jinxai. Okay. I don't I don't mind that. That sounds good for me. I'm using lots and lots of archers to attack the wall. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, if they can't get up here to attack me, uh, well, they can probably shoot at me with their archers, but this is going to be a slaughter. Does it have anything to assemble? No. Alright, Lulin Kui is already up there, so let's get her to work on further destruction. Oh. 
Oh, I suppose I shouldn't leave those guys on fire. I don't know, it's a tough decision, folks. But either way, we've hit the end of this video, and it looks like we should be able to... This, this should be quite fun. With towers, I should be able to defend the gates pretty easily. Which means I should be able to keep Chi Grimmeth off of my cities. This is good news all around, folks. We'll uh, finish beating up on Grimmeth's army in the next video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and... Um, Tune in next time for more of Grimoth getting stomped. Bye for now.